This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, February 3rd, through this coming Sunday, February 9th, 2020. This week, we've got some really interesting astrology unfolding, so let's go over some of the details. Mercury enters Pisces Monday, February 3rd, and it's going to stay there until April 12th. This is an extra long time for Mercury to be in the sign of Pisces because Mercury is going retrograde from February 16th to March 9th. Mercury, who is all about logical thinking and communication, has a hard time in watery Pisces, who relies on a very strong intuition. By blending the reasoning intellect of Mercury with Pisces' ability to spread across different experiences of reality and trust its intuitive inner knowing, you can get the best of both the mental and emotional aspects of this union. If you feel your thoughts are dreamy and unfocused, yet you feel on an outer level you need to be getting things done, <laughs> Allow yourself to delve into and trust your inner knowing. This is allowing Pisces to lead Mercury from the heart and from intuition, giving a heartfelt boost to your communications and how you are able to get things done. Then Venus enters Aries Saturday, February 8th, and will stay there until March 4th bringing a fourth with almost competitive energy to both love and money. Venus in Aries knows what she wants and makes every effort to achieve it. So think about your plans for love and for abundance during this week so you can take advantage of allowing Aries to lead the way in getting things done after this week and until March 4th. Mercury may be muddling your thoughts, but allow Venus to take the lead and show you some results. We will get more into the energy of love next week, so lay some groundwork for yourself this week. Ending the week, we have the full moon in Leo on Saturday, February 9th. Pay careful attention to your alignment this coming week because this is powerful full moon energy and you want to be sure you are well connected to your true desires and not allowing your ego to lead the way. You'll know it's your ego if you have negative compulsive thoughts. Instead, allow your heart to lead with attunement to your dearest desires and loving outcomes. You can shine and you can lead. Your success comes from doing both with compassion and kindness that enhances your strong, positive outcomes. And you know you can get personal details of how this affects your life and how to get the absolute best out of this energy with a reading. Your personal energy, your personal astrology, your own blueprint for this life, and your own council of spirit guides. All of this is what I tune into and connect with for your reading. And we can address anything you'd like. You can get answers, direction, and clarity for how to achieve all the things you'd like to achieve. You can understand any karma or things that may be hampering with your desired outcomes. We can clear the energy and get you into alignment with all you desire. All the information for your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. And this week we have fluorite. Fluorite to clear your energy field. Fluorite to help you with the mental clarity and decision making. Fluorite helps with confusion and also any anxiety you may be having about the future. And on a physical level, it supports your bones and your teeth, and it helps you overcome any dizziness or vertigo if you've been experiencing any of those. Or if you have any dental work that needs to be done, take some fluorite with you. Spend a few days with fluorite 
before and after that dental work. And your teeth will be healthier and happier for it. All right. Nine cards for the energy of this week. Nine perfect cards. Let's go through these. Get this. up a little bit there. All right, I'm going to lay these out and then I'm going to go over each one to give you the reading for the energy of this week and how you can use it to your best advantage. I love this. These are very strong cards. When we have the major arcana, that's sort of big motor skills. And the minor arcana, these other cards, they fill in the details. So, here we go. I'm sure you can see them. We're starting with the Ace of Swords. <laughs> Aces are beginnings. Swords are your intellect, your knowledge, your wisdom, your experience. This sword is straight up through that crown with the olive branch and the palm frond, which is all about you wanting results positive, intellectual, successful, I'm really proud of it, results. It's coming from a cloud though, this hand that's holding the, the sword. So this is to let you know that all of your results <laughs> are divinely presented to you. You can understand what it is you want to achieve, but it's also about just simply agreeing to it. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. These are not things you have to work super hard from or that are elusive. If they are divinely sent, you just need to agree to them. And sometimes we hold that off. Sometimes we're afraid and we don't know what to do with opportunities. And this week we're starting right out with positive opportunities that use your intellect, use your wisdom and your experience that are going to bring you the outcomes that you want. These are business outcomes. These are getting that book written you want to write, getting that new job you want, getting that promotion, starting that business, using your ideas and your thoughts and your wisdom to create something new. It's an ace. It's something new. And it might seem difficult in the beginning, because the Ace of Swords sometimes has to overcome some obstacles. But once you get clear of those obstacles, then it's smooth sailing, it makes sense to you, and things are more easy going. So don't let any early onset obstacles defy you or overcome. Don't let it overwhelm. Just say, all right, I can deal with this because I've got this wisdom and knowledge and experience and I know what I want to start creating. Then, <laughs> boom, they give you the world. <laughs> the world. This is the highest card in the Major Arcana. This is everything turning out the way that you want it to. These four corners represent all the elements and all the learning and all the knowledge. There you are in the middle, in the center of the victory wreath with your wands that connect you above and below all the outcomes you want. I love it when the guides give us a card early on about reassurance for the outcomes. Not just everything just leading up. This is, okay, you're going to get that outcome you want. So let's rest assured in that, and then we can deal with the details. So the first detail, and of course this is not just a little detail, it's the lovers, it's also a major arcana card, which is setting the energy to make you pay attention to what you're passionate about in your life. What is it that you want to create that is authentically and passionately in alignment with you? Yes, it can be romantic love, but it's just so much bigger and greater than that. This is the card of you waking up every morning. Look at that bright, amazing, strong sunshine. Every morning you wake up 
and you're excited about your day because what you've placed in your day you've done that and you're looking forward to it you're excited it's bringing you the results you want these big red wings on the archangel are all about passion passion for your life passion for all the things that you enjoy and if that includes romantic love then allow it don't keep pushing it away see how you can allow it and engage with it and make it part of your success and part of all the things that you love about your life. Then we've got the magician, further fantastic detail and energy for this flow we've got going starting with that ace of swords. The magician reminds you that you have all the tools, everything laid out on that table right here, all the tools you need. You have the talent you have the gifts, you have the knowledge. Again, divine connection with that beautiful wand there and also this infinity symbol. You are divinely connected and divinely guided for your success, pointing to the earth. That is your groundedness. You are here on earth. You want to realize things in this lifetime, in this earth plane. That's very important. The cloak is the red of passion for what you want to create. This magician has created all these flowers, the lilies and the roses, out of all of his talents. So recognizing you can create all the beauty, all the goodness that you wish for as well. You've got everything you need. You just need to take action. And so right here in the center, we've got the Six of Pentacles to help you energetically with this. This is the card of as you give, you receive. So when you share your personal material goodness, your money, your health, your time, your compassion, when you share that with people that need it, then it increases what you receive. It gives you the balance here with the scales. Giving to those less fortunate in whatever category that may be it's going to build your wealth. It's going to build your success. It's going to build you recognizing where things are really, really amazing in your life. So you do have that balance of giving. And the page right here, the Page of Cups, is about emotional and creative beginnings. This is a very, um, I want to say fertile <laughs> This is about creating things in your life. It is literally, if you're looking for a marker card for pregnancy and new birth, this is it. It's not to say that you are that, but where in your life do you want to welcome new life, new opportunities? Fantastic card to have right here below the lovers of what you are passionate about. That fish in the cup is all about your creativity. He's very focused on that. What do I want to create? What brings emotional balance to me? The background is calm. So allow emotional goodness after difficult times. This is also the card of let's just take a deep breath. <sighs> we made it. We've had some really challenging times and months over the past year or so. And this card says, let's just relax because that energy is over. Now we can move forward, move forward emotionally and creatively to what we want to enjoy. And what a perfect card to come right after the Page of Cups. Here we have the Ten of Cups, which is the, I call this the Happy Families card. There's your rainbow and all the goodness that each cup holds the dreams and wishes you've had. There's your house. There's this beautiful land, there's loving connection, there's children, there's all the happiness you want. This is family love. This is realizing you're not alone. This is realizing you're going to have the connections that you have wished for. It's your birthright, it's all there waiting for you, and it's all good. And then <laughs> we get this Three of Swords. This is simply telling you, quit trying to work out something that's over and finished and done. You can't go backwards. Please don't keep trying to go backwards because going backwards is confusing energy. 
All it's doing is just messing up where you want to end up, where you want to move forward to. Your life is moving forward. It's not going backwards. If there is some tragedy or some trauma in your past that you have not been able to get over, that you still feel haunted by, please have a reading. Let's understand what happened. Let's get your guides to step forward and explain to you everything that happened with that situation, why it happened, where it is on your blueprint, what it means for your life, what are the lessons, what are the growth, how do we move on from this, because being stuck in this, you're never going to see the things that you really, really want to enjoy, because you're looking back and you're still trying to figure this out. So have a reading, let's figure this out once and for all, and move on. It's, it's not that this is a bad thing, it adds to your life adds to it in ways that you're ready to understand and release anything that's been blocking you or holding you back. And then our last card, this beautiful Knight of Wands, this is about what inspires you. This is taking you back to all this good energy, the Ace of Swords, the World, the Lovers, the Magician, the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Here it is. Your Knight of Wands. Knights are on a quest. Wands are about taking action. That Venus and Aries energy. Wands are fire. Let's take action on the things that inspire us. Let's appreciate how we are unique and we are authentic and how that adds to all the goodness we want to experience in our life. This is the card of movement. That horse is ready to take off. So if you want to move or change something in your life, this is the energy that allows you to do that in wonderful ways. So allowing this alignment, move forward. What inspires you? What action can you take right now to bring more love, to bring more abundance into your life, to better your communications? It's all available. And I am here to help you specifically with your life, your blueprint, your astrology, your guides. Let's connect. Let's tune in. Let's get all the answers and understanding that you need to live your happiest life. All your information for that is on my website, spiritpathways.net. And I'm going to be quiet to see if you can hear that. That's my pug. <laughs> She's sound asleep at my feet, snoring. Having a wonderful dream. She's twitching. <laughs> very, very good energy. So from me and Muffin, have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.